There are so many different ways to customize the heck out of your Samsung phone using something called Good Luck. And if you don't know about it yet, then believe me, it is gonna blow your mind. So the very first thing to do is head to the Galaxy Store and download the Good Luck app. And if you can't say good luck, then don't stress because later on, I'll show you a little trick on how you can get it. Next, after you get good luck, open it up and let's start with Lockstar. Because here is where we can customize the lock screen. So once you toggle it on and tap on it, you get what looks like a normal lock screen, but we can take this to a whole nother level. So if you tap on the clock and then select this little box icon, you'll find a ton more crazy clock styles to pick from. As you can see, there are so many different styles to choose from, so you can go nuts with something a bit more crazy or something a bit more minimal and just make it look exactly how you want. But besides the clock, you can also customize the shortcuts menu again by clicking on that little icon and choosing this which is a drop down style menu and you can add any application from your phone you'd like. You can have up to six apps in total, then click apply and check it out. You've got a way cooler shortcuts menu to all your favorite apps. You can also change its position to have it pop up in a different location just depending on how you hold your phone. Like to have it pop up on the left for example which is just so nifty. After you're done with shortcuts, if you tap anywhere on the screen, this will pop up where you can now start adding widgets. And I personally like to add the battery widget. You have two options to choose from. I prefer this more simplistic one, which you can customize more if you'd like. But once you've added it, you can also reposition it or add more battery slots. This is just so nifty and you can add even more widgets like the weather one, for example, which is also just as useful to have on the lock screen. If all that wasn't enough, you can even reposition the notification icons to pretty much anywhere on the screen. Once you tap on that little box again, you can resize it and make it much bigger just so it's easier to see, change the transparency, or choose pretty much any color you'd like. It's absolutely nuts what you can do with Lockstar and just make your design look so slick, but we're only just getting started. Now let's move on to some insane wallpaper customization. Back inside Good Luck, if you open up Wonderland, in here you can actually customize your own moving wallpaper. You'll see that there's a few different options to check out, like this landscape one, for example, which when you tilt it, have some mind-blowing 3D motion effects that work not only on your lock screen, but also your home screen wallpaper. But you can also create your own wallpaper by tapping on the plus icon and selecting an image from your gallery. Once you've selected the image you'd like to use, just scale it up a little bit. Then tap on image settings and enable motion effect. Now before I show you how everything looks, let's add a few more extra effects, starting with a particle preset. At first this may seem confusing, but just tap on particle presets, then choose something like rain for example. And basically it'll give your wallpaper the coolest looking rain effect. But we're not done yet because you can add another particle effect and choose any one of these images or shapes. I went with the stars. Then all you have to do is select a movement like twinkle stars. Make sure to choose touch effect. And now you're pretty much done. All you gotta do is tap on the save icon and give your new wallpaper a name. I just decided to name mine a night sky, nothing fancy. Tap save and then actually set this as your new wallpaper on your home and lock screen. Then check out how freaking cool and totally unique this wallpaper is. We went from this super plain wallpaper to something a lot more fun and a cool motion effect when you tilt it, some rain particles. And when you touch the screen, you also get this crazy cool particle effect. You can literally create any design you'd like and have so much fun with all these different effects. Nice. To take this another step further, you could even get a lock screen effect. So in here, you would just go back into the gallery and choose the exact same wallpaper you had previously. And once that is done, if you select this little icon over here, you can choose from all these crazy cool trippy lock screen effects, like this slice one, which is my personal fave. Then just click save and set that as your wallpaper. And now, whenever you unlock your phone, you get this sweet effect that moves your wallpaper. Like, this is exactly why I love Samsung customization. So did you guys know that you can customize the heck out of your soundbar? It's pretty nuts, but back inside Good Luck, if you go to the Life Up tab and scroll down to Sound Assistant, here you'll find this hidden soundbar customization setting that you just gotta turn on. Now check this puppy out. It literally transforms your entire soundbar and gives it this insane animated lighting effect. But what's even better is that there are so many different lighting effects and color options to choose from. So depending on what wallpaper you decide to go 
go with, you can match your sound panel to look the same as the design with similar colors and just give your Samsung that extra edge. But it gets even crazier because if you scroll down, you'll see that you can actually change its shape or even straight up change it into a sound knob instead. I mean, if this is a next level customization, then I don't know what is because it just looks so epic. Then if we go back into the customization volume panel, you can also turn this on. Then at the bottom, select custom. And now if you want, you can change the soundbar from the right hand side to the left. And if you go into the expanded panel settings, you can toggle on app volume and show toolbar functions. So that now whenever you go into your sound panel and have a few apps open, you can actually control their individual app volumes. And just below that, you'll see other settings like this full blown equalizer. Wow. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite good lock features, but there's still so much more to customize. Okay, so now that your wallpaper and volume bar are done, let's move on to the quick settings panel. Cause there's actually quite a lot you can do using Quickstar. First off, if you go into style your own quick panel, straight off the bat, you'll see that there's a few preset themes you can quickly pick from just to give your notification and quick setting panels a different look. So again, depending on the main colors of your wallpaper, you can just quickly pick a look that better suits your wallpaper and style aesthetic. Or if you wanted to, you can actually create your own theme and have full control over every single color in the quick settings panel. And it looks so good. But just be prepared to sit there for an hour because there's a ton of different options you can choose from. And then you know how the status bar can get a bit too cluttered with all these different little icons? Well, if you go back to the main settings and into indicator icons, in here you can literally turn off every single one of these options for a much more minimal look. And once you're done with that, you can also go into clock settings and choose to either hide the clock or have it on the right hand side, but I personally just like to hide it. But now let's move on to something I know you guys will love. Okay, so by now, we all kind of know about the edge lighting notifications on Samsung phones, but did you know that inside the GoodLock app, you get something called Edge Lighting Plus? And once you turn it on, you can actually set a custom style. So you can head into the settings because this is where things start to get nuts. The first thing you'll notice is you have a few different presets already built for you. So if you want, you can just pick from one of these. Now, whenever someone sends you a message or an email, you'll get this awesome animation across the screen. But what is even cooler is if you select the plus icon, then the gallery icon, you can add your own notification icon or image from your gallery, like this PNG of a moon. You can then click on the advanced tab and select from any one of these different pop-up styles. And believe it or not, you can even adjust the rotation, amount, period, and even the size of the picture you chose. And now every time you get a message, your custom animation that you made will play. But to take this one a step further, you can actually go into style by keyword. And in here, if you type out one of your friend's contacts or a WhatsApp group name, it actually saves a separate edge lighting notification effect for that contact or group name. Like whether it's your friend, Jim, or maybe work. Which I mean, come on, you gotta admit, that is pretty cool. Now, I bet you guys didn't know this, but you can actually customize your navigation bar. And to do this, you'll have to use Navstar inside GoodLock. Once you turn it on, you can pick from a few really cool and cute icons that Samsung have already made. Or if you click on new configuration and then tap on one of the navigation icons and gallery, you can straight up select any image from your gallery. So I just chose a couple icons that I'd pre-made to match my whole aesthetic and style, added those to each one of the buttons. And then after you're done with that, inside the button layout tab, you can add another button to your navigation bar, like the camera icon, for example. So now you can literally open up your camera just from your navigation bar and even take a photo using that button. Nice. And lastly, you can also change the background color of your navigation bar to something that'll suit your aesthetic. And after you're done with that, your setup so far should be looking so sweet with a cool new wallpaper, custom volume bar, quick settings panel, but there's still more we can do. Okay, so it's finally time to say goodbye to that hella boring keyboard and hello to Keys Cafe, where you can click on and open up style your own keyboard. As you scroll down through all these different keyboards, you'll see there's a bunch of different color styles to pick from. So if you want something super minimal, there are plenty of those styles, but there's also plenty of those super colorful styles too. 
but it's really the effects tab that makes Keys Cafe so damn cool. Because in here, you can choose from a bunch of different key press effects, keycap colors, and different motion effects. There is even a sound effects tab where you can pick the exact sound effect you'd like your keyboard to make while you type. So you can go from something super standard and boring like this to something so much cooler like this. Hmm. Onto a few hidden customization tricks that you just gotta try out, starting with the Routines Plus, where in here you'll find something called Low Battery Announcement. I freaking love this, but in here you can change the battery level to whatever you'd like, and now anytime your phone reaches that percent, it'll tell you to... Charge your phone which is actually a really nifty little trick to remind you to plug it in before it dies. Next, inside the Home App tab, once you turn that on under Task Changer, you can quickly customize your recent taskbar and shrink it into this mini mode. And basically what this will do is just make it a lot easier for you to use the recents menu with one hand. Then for the next trick inside Registar, you can actually customize your settings and reorder it. All you do is tap on menu order and group settings, then just decide if you want to move some things around by simply dragging and dropping it. And so now if you go into your settings, you'll find that option now right at the top, so useful. Okay, so if good luck isn't showing up in your Galaxy store, that's probably because it's not available in your country. But I found a little trick on how you can get it by using a VPN like Surfshark. Basically how Surfshark works is when you connect to it, it'll connect through the US to the Galaxy store and trick it into thinking that you're there so that good luck magically appears for you. Yeah. To get it set up, just quickly sign up to it using your Google account, then connect to either a UK or US server and you're set. Now, the next step you have to do to trick the Galaxy Store is remove your SIM card. Then head into your settings and scroll all the way down to app settings and in here tap on Galaxy Store. Because lastly, within the storage section, you just need to clear all the data and cache. And now with Surfshark still running in the background, when you open up the Galaxy Store and search for good luck, the bam, you will find it right up there, kind of like magic. Then just give it a download, open it up and make sure you got all the other components and you'll pretty much be good to go to customize the heck out of your Samsung. And while you're at it, you can still use Surfshark for a bunch of other things like Netflix. With Surfshark, you can literally get another country's entire Netflix library, so you can unlock a few extra movies or series to watch. And what's absolutely nuts is that a month of Surfshark literally costs less than a cup of coffee. So if you use code HAILS, you can get it even cheaper and six months free. That's a pretty sweet deal. So big shout out to Surfshark for unlocking all that good power for us. And if you haven't already, you can check out my One UI 6 video right over here, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles.